Hello guys, welcome. Hello, hello guys. I'm Kenji Senpai, and welcome back to another Soccer Shrine Girl adventure. Let's begin. I don't know if that was fucking loud or anything. Let's begin. Is it like a family or what? More a kind. More. A kind to a clan in your world. Oh, more like a clan, okay. Why did she say it like that? Now, none of us are actually related to one another. So it would be far fetched to call us family. I cannot explain it myself, but spirits simply manifest into assistance. Oh, okay. I get it. It has long been determined where we actually came from. Debated. Debated. Blinking is good. Um, for the beyond has mysteries that even its own descendants cannot explain. The only ties and relationships we share are the ones that we make ourselves rather than the bonds of blood you share with family. When guardian spirits of our partner kind are discovered, they are invited to join your house, our house. I hope that makes sense. I butchered a line. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I get it. I get it a little bit. How weird. <laughs> Are all of the spirits in your house women? Yes, all of them are. That's it for you, man. <laughs> once again, once again, since we do not understand our own origins, we cannot determine the reason behind this. Well, if I cannot be explained, if it, if it cannot be explained, I suppose that's really... Not really much else to ask about with that. How exactly does your house determine who goes to the two gates then? It's a high, highly political matter. There are splinter groups in the house who attend to raise their own status by putting forward their own candidates. It's like a president almost. Okay, it's pretty cool. It is considered it is considered to be a high honor to be tempted by the priest of a family. Other factors are also considered. You need to con contain temperament to handle the pressure. The pressure pressure the position gives. Mm. I was put forward as the candidate because they believed my temperament was well suited to the role. And I echo. And I echo? For the one reason or another, they seemed to believe that she would be well suited to the role as well. I am. I am not about to pretend that I understand the reason behind it. But all, but I, but all, but as, ugh, ugh. I am not in a position to argue. She was close, chosen, and that is final. That's true. Kyle looks out the window. I, 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 I have already dressed in my traditional garb. There is no reason for me to stay. That's alright to stay to the night if you want. No, not today. She stands up. Thank you for your hospitality, Tori. She bows before me. Slowly she walks out of my room. Well, she slowly 
Pracing everything together. Piecing everything together. I wonder what else I will discover as time goes on. Me too. Ooh, we're back at this place. It's very beautiful. I'm heading to school a bit early today. Grandpa got me up at the wrong time. He bushed it, brushed it off, but I think he might be getting just a little bit sense. <laughs> See now. Oh well, everyone makes mistakes. I shouldn't be too hush on him. Hush on him. It's hard to imagine that he was just like me once. Dealing with similar problems to mine. I suppose that's just how it is. Not, n not having much to do, I decide to wander around for a bit. As long as I keep my eyes on the time, everything should be fine. Um, the coastline straights out. Its water sparkles with the shining rays of the sun. The waves sound like speaking. Come to think of it, I haven't actually gone to the beach since I arrived here. With all of the choice I've, choices I've, I'm dealing with t today and today challenges, I suppose I simply don't have the time for it. One thing about living on the coast is that you would go to the beach every day. Eh, I don't know. Beach kind of gets boring, I guess, if you it's very accessible to you, I suppose. It would probably lose its novently beautiful quietly. I look out to the waves. I feel a growing temptation. Why not? Might as well feel the sand in between my toes. That's a beautiful beach. Slowly taking my shoes off, I take a single step on the sand. It's surprisingly pleasant. I didn't even realize how sort sort my feet were. Uh oh yeah. I can hear the spirits I can hear whispers of the spirits here. The ocean is teeming with life. Just listening to the gentle, pleasant moan as it plays out in front of me. It truly is sublime. I sit down watching the waves roll and gently into the shore. There's no one else around me leading me to leading me to have an an and since instilled view of the ocean. I wonder what Nako and Kaya would be doing right now. I wonder maybe make a Psycho, Sh Psycho Shrine Girl Beach or whatever thing it is. Not Shrine Girl, Psycho Beach I think it's called. When they are standing at their shrines, what exactly do they do to pass the time? Even Kaya would get bored from sitting there for too long, wouldn't she? Naiko would probably be con content to laze around in the sun until it was time to go. The two of them are far too mysterious for me to come pen. But they look enough like normal girls, I suppose. It's then that I see someone in the shore. So I guess it, I wouldn't be the only person here. Wait. No, don't tell me. I see a pair of white, of white furry ears sitting on top of her head. It's then that she sees me too. <laughs> mm, damn. Oh, Toru. Aiko 
comes boldly out of the surf wearing a bikini which leaves little to the imagination. I can't really see the bottom, so I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how to do that. Um, you don't usually leave the house until much later. Why are you awake so early? Please, Naiko. Kue appears as well. Her swimsuit is completely dry. Just like my mouth <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Me too. I can't see the bottom now. I'm sorry. This was the last thing I was expecting. Seeing these two dressed like this is taking my breath away. Mm. Calm down, Toru. Calm down, Toru. <laughs> Just clear your head. I was obviously him and he appears to enjoy some time to relax. There is no need to bother him right now. I shake my head. No, no, it's not a problem. I was just a little surprised to see you both here. Really, I am surprised. I don't know, I guess you know, based on the personalities, I suppose. Mm. I imagine the two of them only went to school together because they were stuck in the same class. They wouldn't bother wouldn't both be here if they had hadn't had not agreed to be here. You look you look unique. Oh, now I can see them. Um, this is a good look f for you, Kyle. I would say that because I haven't really played her that much. She did does look good. So this is a different look for you, Kyle. But I think it's good. Do you really think so? I was actually re embarrassed, but if you like it, then that makes me happy. Naiko's tail is standing up, showing off just how happy she is. The warm waves, the fish, the sand. I love. I love all of it. I swear that I can hear her purring. The beach is so warm. It's like having some kind of sun appearing cheat machine. I must admit that the warmth of the sand is rather pleasant on my skin. You're not you're no fun, Kyle. You, you haven't even tried to get into the, the water. Come on, get, get in. I am more than contained to remain here on the sand, thank you. As you might guess, I am not, I am not found of water. Echo. Pokes, punts like a spoke child. This is why I cannot take you anywhere. You're always such a killjoy. I thought you a series, which I guess was somewhat good. I watched like the first season. I don't know. It's off topic. Hey, it's fine to enjoy the beach without getting in the water, you know. I suppose that an echo is so willing to get into the water. I know there are spirits, but there are also cats. Well, some cats like water too, you know. So wouldn't a little bit of feline insert or proof scent be part of their thought process? I don't know. I think that is one of these things which I should just not think too much about. I guess so. But you're missing out, Kaya. Dot dot dot. Kaya slowly picks herself up. I suppose I can try it. Wait, well, 
Wait, really? No, Echo looks shocked. Yes. I might as well. She slowly walks up to the water. All care uh, so careful she puts one toe in it. Not warmly unpleasant. She begins to walk deeper into the water until it reaches up to her ankles. Aiko and I just stand there waiting for her to go deeper in. This is an inward moment or two before Aiko finally decides to say something. You're only going in that far? Did you expect me to completely submerge myself? Submerge myself? That's true, I guess. It's baby steps. That is not exactly as reasonable request, but but that's the point of being on the beach. If you aren't going to swim, what's the point? Come on, just let her enjoy it the way she wants to. I lean in to Nayako. She's trying out something new. That's a big step, don't don't you think? I guess so. So just let her insert into it. Ease into it. Nayako seems pretend. But she doesn't say anything else. We have some time before we have to go to school. Are we gonna get them now? <laughs> so let's enjoy this while we can. Despise her, herself, Naiko smiles. I agree completely. Well, getting to watch these two play in the water while wearing bikinis. There is definitely no reason to complain. And we did not see that. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Class came and went without much f fanfare fuss. Composed to what I saw on the beach, it was all very forgettable. Aw, oh, what the hell? Toru! Yeah, is something wrong? You're just been looking really happy today. I admit, I must admit, you have been in a good mood since we were at the beach. Did you sight of me? The sight did the sight of me in my swimsuit really pleased you that much? These two are far more understanding of these of these the men than I expected them to be. Maybe the f the feels feelings of spirits aren't that different from humans. And may maybe mm, he admits it. He may admits it a little bit. Okay, come on. I know it's true. Just admit it. I won't say that I disliked it. Okay. Ah. Um, <laughs> here, her toe begin to wag from side to side. It's happening in such a tease, Toru. You do not need to endure him, Naika. He will admit what he wishes to to of his own free will. It is the best not to push him if it is not necessary. I really don't mind. If I'm your priest, then I need to be be open to questions. Yeah. See, Kaya? You... You hold too much about oftening other people. Perhaps I do. It was a necessary back at home to be as polite as possible. Well, we aren't at home anymore, are we? No. It's like, mm. <laughs> But we must remember that we are going to be the respected 
of our houses in these lands. If we do not carry ourselves with identifying and grace, then the spirits of this land may openly defend defend our immune. You don't need to be such a former figurehead to be able to lead others. Hang on. Even if you two are attending the Fushik Animal, the spirits of this land can still devote you? They can. And it is usually such a a messy after that they choose not to after all. But if the guardian spirits is settled into a shrine and the spirits do not listen to them, it can curse a number cause a number of unpleasant events across the land. While we have some powers there complete in pertain to our forces our will on them. We were often told the stories of shrines those spirits lost the respect of their domain. The spirits of the land often reign went wild and cause a lot of cross. I'm not saying those words. I'm sorry you guys. That does not sound particularly good. It's no wonder that this vegetable is so incensed. I suppose that such a lack of order quickly pays out in the place without any option as well. So ideally, someone who can c combat their respect should partake in the Fushin Festival. As if anyone would respect someone who was so polite of all time. I will appear in my way, and you can punish in your in your way. Mm. They're mad. They're mad. <laughs> we will see whose way is correct. One after one after the fusion. There you go. Egg. I really wish these two would stop doing this to each other. They will probably spend an eternity arguing with one another after the festival is over if this keeps up. You're see, Naika. You see, you're see, Kaya. Spirits of this land will be flung to me once I miss. Merce my domain. While all of them will ignore you, and your shrine will be forgotten. Do you really believe so? Of course. That's what will happen. I completely believe you. Wait, what? I go, dreams puff up. Don't push me off like that. I'll push you off in whatever way I please. Mmm. Well then, see if you can push me off like this. Like what? Oh, nothing. Just this. Naika quickly tackles Kyle and wrestles with her. What are you doing? Get off me. Make me get off. What are you doing, Naika? She reaches behind Kaya. <laughs> That's a thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> her tent flicks out of her mouth and begins to lick way up Kaya's tent. Mmm. Kaya reaction to the sensation. The weird posture they have ended and gives me an, an astute view of Naiko's skirt as well. I don't even 
know what to say. I am so unheard by the scene in front of me that I'm unable to even under a, a word. What are you doing? Um. Well, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you like this video, I especially did. 